We mentioned that Vavrinka has to face Federer this evening, Miles. I mean, they've met each other so many times. I think it's 14-2 in favour of Federer in terms of the head-to-head. -head. But, of course, they know each other so incredibly well. They, they play with each other in Davis Cup. How difficult is it for Stan? I don't guess Roger finds it too difficult, but for Stan, who's been in Roger's shadow for so long, how difficult is it for him to, to meet up? We're actually talking about uh, Stan Vavrinka and... Uh, and Roger Federer, not not Djokovic and Nishikori, which has come up on the screen. Changed a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that looks have changed. Yeah, no, think, Stan um, and Roger. So Stan, it's um, you know, players play each other so often, they practice together. So in terms of playing uh, a friend, which is often very difficult when you first come on the tour, I think they would have got over that. But I think one of the most difficult things for Stan would have been, uh, well, two things that he had to get used to this year. Well, one was being a Grand Slam champion, and one was taking on that Swiss number one ranking for a while. And I wonder if that sort of shook him as much as anything else. But he did get that win over Roger Federer in the final of Monte Carlo. Yeah. So it wasn't just any win, it was in the final of his uh, of, of a 1,000 event, uh, a big tournament you know lots of people watching so that was is very it was key for him to just get over that hurdle as, as they know each other well and in the same vein as Kane Ishikori he knows what he needs to do he needs to play aggressive tennis I mean we saw how Roger Federer last night if you give him and give him you know your hand he will bite your arm off so but Stan has the power to keep him at bay he's gonna need as with so many of these guys he's gonna need a good first serve percentage of big serve just to, to maybe get himself some free points and just to relieve that pressure every now and again we saw um, you know Federer against Murray looking to come in on every opportunity approaching the net time after time we're seeing more and more of Stefan Edberg in Iran, yeah, so, aren't we? some beautiful play so the, the, the serve first and second is going to be key for trying to keep Federer away from that net look. yeah it's funny isn't it because going into that match Roger had said in, in uh, at press interviews that the way the court's playing actually it was very difficult to come in and that we're playing a lot from the baseline well he showed that that just isn't the case at all <laughs> <laughs> I think he might be playing a little bit of uh, quite possibly because he sure hasn't struggled but the fact also not only is slow it's staying the, the bounce is staying a little bit lower which in some ways if he's playing those slices and coming in uh, particularly on slice balls up the middle mm. the, the if the opponents are playing passing shots from a lower position doesn't offer as many angles so you know as always with Roger he's found a way to make the conditions to, uh, to turn the conditions in his favor yeah he's just uh, looked absolutely unstoppable here he's in action this evening against Stan the other person who's looked completely unstoppable therefore surely Sunday's final has to be Roger against Novak Djokovic Novak playing this afternoon 